Hi guys, it's Deb. Hello, if you're new here, my name is Jade. And definitely make sure you are subscribed. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do some makeup and just kind of get cute. I'm going to do a lot of behind the scenes stuff. So I need to do my makeup and I thought it'd be a perfect time to do my makeup with you guys um, and just chat about some things. It's the new year almost. There's literally three days left in this month. And I'm a little, I'm a little shook. I'm a little... Also, today's video is in partnership with Dossier. You guys know I love Dossier here on my channel. If you guys are new here and are not familiar with Dossier, they are a luxury-inspired fragrance brand who makes fragrances inspired by some of your favorite luxury brands like Gucci, YSL, We Love Boo, Dolce & Gabbana, Armani. They have a fragrance for everyone, but at a fraction of the cost. But we'll get into that a little bit later because I'm excited to show you guys the new fragrances that I picked up. So let's hop into the makeup and then we'll get to the fragrance. Okay, so I did my brows off camera. I always do my brows off camera because I feel like that amount of pressure, I don't need that on myself. I can't, I, I, I just can't, unless I'm making a dedicated video just to my brows. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. Um, let's jump right into skin. I will be listing all the products down below in the description box. I have a ton of stuff laid out in front of me and we're just gonna wing it. I have no idea what type of makeup I'm gonna do, what sense of direction we're going. But I'm pretty sure it will be neutral and very wearable because that's all that I do these days. Um, so I'm going to just go in with this Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow and use a little bit of this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need a mirror first. Ouch. I'm going to need a mirror first and foremost. And we'll just do a little bit here, a little bit here, a little here. And spread that all over our face. So I haven't been posting and I've been kind of enjoying not posting i've just been staying out of the way and trying to get re-inspired i feel like i'm not as inspired as i was before the end of the year came i just feel like once the end of the year came i just kind of was like okay i'm done just kind of tapping out um because i wasn't feeling super inspired and i don't want to have to force my content because i feel like you can always tell when it's not like genuine content next i'm gonna go in with this flawless filter uh what is this called flawless filter from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade 6.5 Deep. It is a little dark for me. I have lost a lot of my summer color because we are in the winter months. That is very, very dark. Okay, we are just gonna apply some to this side because we already did it, but we're not gonna apply anymore because it is way, way, way too dark. Um, we'll just blend it out. But I do love this stuff. I just need to get a lighter color. I feel like it Makes your skin look so pretty and just smooth. Okay, we're gonna roll with that. Um, lately, I have been doing my concealer first and then doing my foundation because I feel like it just makes everything blend out a little bit better when it comes to putting on the foundation. I don't know what concealer I wanna use. I'm torn between using the NARS concealers, the Charlotte Tilbury concealer, and also the Makeup Revolutions concealer. So maybe I'll just make up a concoction of a few of them um let's go in with the nars radiant creamy concealers i have caramel and oh i have two caramels so we'll just take one out i'll use this one because it's newer and then we'll just play with it so i have been really excited for the new year to come i am really excited to see what this year has to offer because lord knows 2021 was a year okay it was definitely a year for me and in a good way not in a bad way where i feel overwhelmed or i feel like oh i'm so ready to get out of 2021 i'm definitely ready to move on into a new year but i appreciate everything that 2021 brought to me. I'm appreciative of what 2021 has brought to the table for me. I feel like I learned a lot. I feel like I learned a lot about myself and I learned a lot about the person that I want to be in the new year coming up. Um, and I think that's always a plus when you're able to say that you learned something. My chin is breaking out. I hate it. I hate it here. But yeah, I feel like I learned a lot and I'm really excited about the new year. I hate having New Year's resolutions <laughs> because I feel like when I call it a New Year's resolution, I don't really stick to it. And then it just becomes a thing that I am doing because, I don't know, I, I'm just weird, I guess. I wanna say it's more so as a life resolution, just trying to be better and not just have that to be my goal for this year, but just 
and life in general, if that makes sense. I kind of forgot how nice this concealer is, to be honest. I haven't used it in such a long time. Okay, now that that's blended out, we're gonna go into foundations. I am in between foundations. My original like summer foundations are all way too dark and I don't really have that many light foundations, so I'm like struggling on the foundation bus, so I need to pick up some more. But today I'm gonna mix the Dior Backstage Foundation in the shade 4.5W with the Cover Effects Power Play Foundation in G70. Hopefully it works, not really sure. We're gonna just hope for the best. And see what happens. So I think it would be smart for me to just put a little drop, a couple drops on the back of my hand. I really love this Dior Backstage Foundation. I feel like it's so lightweight and just mm, makes your skin look so good. I love mixing actually this Dior Backstage Foundation with the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation. Chef's kiss. But if it is, we'll go back in. And just blend this into our skin. So we're gonna cream contour. I'm using the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Toffee. And this goes a long way, so we're gonna just do a couple little dots. Cause I feel like this has a lot of coverage and blend. Just give us like some warmth, cause I feel like the foundation is a little light. We'll do the same thing on this side. Okay, and we'll do a little bit on our nose because we need the nose contour. Just to snatch that up a little bit and then I'm gonna just do like a dot on each side because I don't want this to go too crazy. It's better to add a little bit and then build up than add too much and can't get rid of it. And then I'm just using this Morphe M5 online. Then I'm just using this Morphe M458 brush. a new sponge because my nose contour looks crazy it's clean I'm gonna just buff it into my skin really light for blush I'm gonna use this Fenty cream blush in bikini martini that's super super pink and just really fun and flirty so let's warm it up back the sponge and just lightly press it into the skin now we can go into setting everything. I'm gonna be using this one size powder uh, from Patrick Star. I'm gonna take this sponge and press my concealer in to make sure there are no creases and then go right in with the powder. And then we can begin to just press just into the skin. Next we're gonna go in with bronzer. This is a Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer in the shade number three, a brush, and a, this powder goes a long way, so don't OD like me. I've done this so many times. And then I'm just gonna tap it on the high points of my face. I'm not gonna be dragging it down. I'm gonna be focusing on keeping it upward. And the same thing on this side. Just focusing on keeping it going in an upward direction. And what, whatever is left on the brush, I'm gonna just take it on my jawline. So it's not too much, not too heavy. Okay, we look crazy and it's totally fine, but I'm gonna just go in and use this Dior Backstage eyeshadow palette with a fluffy brush, and I'm gonna use this shade at the top. Just like a really nice brown. Then I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. This is this Pumpkin Spice eyeshadow palette. Ouch, if I can get it open. And I'm gonna use this shade right here. I'm 
you know what? I'm gonna just leave it bare. Yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just leave it bare. That's what we're doing. How are we doing that? Okay, so let's add some blush. And I think I wanna use strawberry from La Mercier or should I use peach? Let's mix them both. And I go OD with my blush. You don't have to, but that's what I like to do. And I try to keep it on the high points in my face. So it doesn't drag my face down. Take a little peach and put it on top. That's a lot. I'm doing the most. I'm gonna take the fluffy side of this brush and just blend. Kind of cute. Eyes. We're gonna just finish them off by using some brown liner. This is from House of Labs and this is in the shade Whiskey. I gotta get real close because. I just did a baby wing. Cute. Two baby wings. Let's do a little bit of mascara and then we'll put on some fake lashes. Matter of fact, the lashes that I'm using are the So Whiskey Lashes from Kiss. They look like this. I love these lashes. They're perfect. They're my go-to. Only thing is I wish I had an easier way to like take them off the paper. I mean the plastic because sometimes you mess them up and I get frustrated when that happens. So. So for the lower lash line, I'm just going to use the same bronzer and take a little bit on a flat shader brush. Eyes are very watery. So for the under eye, I'm going to use this Charlotte Tilbury um, airbrush setting powder in the shade 2 because I like a bright under eye. But I'm only focusing it on the under eye. Just really want to brighten up this area a bit. Okay, I'm gonna leave this under there to sit for a little bit while we work on the lips. We want to do the lips. I think I'm gonna use Cork Lip Liner from Mac. Okay, so now that we use cork, I'm gonna go in with the KKW lip liner in the shade number two. And now I'm gonna go in with the shade two from KKW and just darken up this part here. Next, I'm gonna use the Tower 28 blush in the shade Magic Hour and my finger. 
and I'm going to black this on the center of my lip. And then I'm going to use the KKW lipsticks. I think I'm going to use this is 1.5 and this is one. I think I'm going to use one. Okay, I'm a gloss girl, so I'm gonna go in with the Tower 28 gloss in the shade Oat and put this on top. I know this is a lot of lip products, but I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Ice and put that on my lips as well. Alright, to finish off everything and lock and seal everything into place so it doesn't move, it doesn't budge, I'm going to go in with the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury and spray my face to kind of absorb any extra powders, make everything look like skin and really natural and soft and glam. So, Alright guys, so I went ahead and finished my makeup look. Here's how the makeup turned out. Now it's time to move on to fragrances. Now you guys know I mentioned earlier that this video is in partnership with Josier, which I'm really excited about. They are a luxury inspired fragrance brand who have fragrances inspired by some of your favorite luxury brands and they are super affordable. So I have been wearing Ambery Saffron every single day. It smells so good. It's like my go-to fragrance currently. So they were kind enough to send over two new fragrances and I'm really excited to share with you guys what they are. Packaging, we've seen it, we know it, we love it. It's luxurious, it's minimalistic, it's fresh, it's nice, it's a vibe. So when you open it up, it looks like this, super cute. It also comes with this little information card showing you all of the perks and all of the details on the fragrance that you selected. So this fragrance is called Floriental Vanilla and this is inspired by YSL Black Opium Perfume. That used to be my favorite fragrance my favorite one hands down i used to wear it all of the time and when i saw that they had it on their set i was like you know what let's let's relive a moment let's relive a vibe so it also tells you the notes that the fragrance has it has top notes of mandarin pear pink pepper and licorice and i i've already smelled it i feel like it's only right for me to smell them and i don't have self-control so i couldn't wait so here's what the packaging looks like super minimalistic and beautiful and it has a magnetic top so it just sticks back to it and you never lose your tops oh it's i love vanilla scent like vanilla and amber are like my gigs and they smell so good together mm, let's spray i'm wearing this one <laughs> i haven't even smelled the other one but wait dossier it smells so good it's so warm and like I love warm spicy scents like warm woody spicy scents and this is embodying everything that YSL black opium is Ooh, the second fragrance that I have might be a tough one to follow after I just smelled floriental vanilla I'm kind of already hands down thinking about wearing that one today so we'll see so again, when you open up the package, package the same, and it has the information card. So this fragrance is inspired by Narcisco Rodriguez for her perfume. This fragrance has top notes of bergamot and orange blossom, and I'm excited to smell it. Here's what the packaging looks like. Let's take it out. Floriental Vanilla is going to be a tough act to follow, so let's smell the musky rose i haven't smelled this one i didn't open it i don't know what it smells like i've never tried it never sprayed it so this is going to be my true 100 percent first impressions so let's go let's move my shirt it's like i want it to die down a little bit so i can get a true whiff of what it smells like once it settles in on the skin 
because a lot of fragrances after you spray them on your body and they simmer down and they kind of adjust to your body chemistry they end up smelling different and I love that because everybody's body chemistry is different and you can have a unique smell you know what I mean like I could be wearing something and you could be wearing the same thing but our body chemistries make it smell different and I like that I can definitely smell the orange blossom in this it smells really really good and fresh and clean I think this would be a great scent if you're doing like a daytime event and I definitely think the floriental vanilla is a perfect like nighttime evening scent where this is like a daytime running to brunch running errands fresh clean Ooh. Scent. So huge shout out to Dossier for sending over these two fragrances. I think I'm going to go ahead and wear Floriental Vanilla because I don't follow the rules. I wear what I want when I want. So I'm going to spray this on and a little bit goes a long way. So my hair is done. My makeup is done. I smell great. I'm dressed and ready to go for the day. I mean, what more can you ask for? These are all of the vibes. This just gives you the energy that you need to get through the day. So a huge shout out and thank you to Dossier for partnering with me on today's video. I love you guys. Your fragrance is also amazing. Also, I have a coupon code there so you guys can save some money if you're into that. I like saving money, so I've used the code personally, but I'm biased. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the new year. Bye!